You know, it's interesting, our industry is really at a point where the challenge is not just to build and they will come, but to manage for an unpredictable world. And that's what we're spending our time talking about with our customers, how to plan to be more flexible in a world that is entirely unpredictable. In two ways, in the area of your networks and the area of your customer experience. So in the network side, you know, we've, I think as an industry, we've had every prediction in the world about data demand, and we've been always wrong. <laughs> We always undercall the data and the, the capacities we required. But now it's not just a function, everybody knows we need more capacity, the question is where and when you need it and the nature of the capacity you need. For instance, at the Royal Wedding that was held recently, in one day we had a 26% increase in video demand at one moment when the whole world used their cell phones to watch the, the wedding. And we also have scenarios where we need capacity to help improve the experience, but it's in the wrong place. So, you know, operators have built these wonderful million dollar, billion dollars of investment, but the demand is in a place that they don't, they, they're, they're underutilizing parts of their network. So the answer is to create flexible networks. How do customers plan for a flexible network? It's got to be something that you do across the silos. You can't simply plan for it in radio or in transport or in core. Yeah. It has to be something that from the beginning to the end you plan for, which means intelligent management that works across, across it and the ability to have um, uh, the software defined and adaptive networks that works across all three. Okay. So we call that liquid core, liquid transport, and liquid radio underneath the liquid net architecture. The challenge obviously for the operator is how to manage to increase revenue while your costs are going up and the customers aren't putting enough value on the fact that you're building these huge networks. One of the ways we're finding uh, customers or operators can improve there is to be able to one, create premium services that the customers see value in, and a lot of that means you need to know your customer better using the, the um, analytics of the network, not just your IT analytics, but the actual knowledge of the network and make that a real-time experience that the customer sees value in, uh, making, delivering applications that are more uh, intuitive to the customer. And then the other thing is just delivering a reliable network when they need it. I mean, 40% uh, uh, of our, uh, our research shows that about 40% of high premium customers tend to be ready to churn within 12 months. And the two things that research shows they want every single time is, is a reliable network and a, a more a happier experience when they work with the co your company. So how do you create flexibility in terms of the, re the network's ability to serve the customer? And how do you create flexibility in terms of your operations people ability to meet, meet the customer need when they call you and when they work with you?